Good morning, your average Joe viewers. I got a video uploaded for you earlier today that I filmed a long, 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 long time ago. But I've got finally got the iced coffee video prepped, ready to shoot for you. As you can see, I have a slightly different angle in my kitchen today, so you can see what I'm doing. I do not use my Keurig for this method. I use a cold brewing method. Um, I've kind of modified the Pioneer Woman's uh, coffee recipe, which I think is delicious. Um, since this takes over eight hours, it's probably going to be a two-part video. I'll show you how to prepare it um, now, and then I'll show you how I actually drink it probably tomorrow when it's ready. For this preparation, you are going to need your favorite ground coffee. I am a Dunkies fan. Always have been. Always will be. Um, you'll need one tray of ice. And you'll need one gallon of water. You will also need a very large vessel of some sort um, to do this. So first thing I'm going to do, hopefully you can see what I'm doing, is I'm going to pour approximately half of this package of coffee grounds. That's yeah, right about half. You can play around with how much water to um, coffee ratio you like. Next to the same bowl that I just dumped my coffee grounds in, as you can see I just dumped those, I'm going to add the gallon of water. It's a very simple method. Um, you want to use cold water. This has been sitting in my fridge for a few hours, but because I'm not sure it's cold enough, I'm now adding a tray of ice. Don't just let it plop in or else you're going to get yucky, nasty coffee grounds everywhere. Like I just did. Careful. Ah! Is that cold? It is cold. <laughs> All right. So now we've got our... Oh, one more ice in there. I don't think... Oh, it's all gone. I got all the ice out. All right. So now that we got covered in coffee, I'm actually not happy with the amount of coffee down, so I'm going to add a bit more. Um, we're making a, pretty much an iced coffee concentrate. Sorry, I'm going to flip you around there so you can see it looks like something the thing from the Black Lagoon crawled out of. And we're going to give that a nice stir to get everything all nice and incorporated. We are going to leave this for eight hours. What I am going to do is cover with ceramic wrap. Sorry, God. Ah, there we go. What I am going to do is cover with saran wrap. Um, and place it in my fridge for at least eight hours. It can go longer. Um, and through the magic of technology, I will be back after eight hours. Um, but it'll be a blink of an eye for you. All right, second half of making the coffee. It has been well over six hours. Um, it's actually been closer to eight. It's 10.30 at night, so I have fresh coffee for tomorrow. I just wanna show you my setup here. I've got the original pitcher nice and rinsed out. I've got a strainer with a coffee filter laid in it. And all I'm going to do, Mildred. All right, sorry, my dog's barking. I don't know what her problem is. All right, there, I think you'll be able to see it in my lovely daughter's artwork. And I'm gonna just slowly pour. And this could take a little bit of time. After I get all the grounds through, um, I'll push whatever remaining coffee there is, and I'm going to um, chill this overnight, and video number two will be me, how I prepare it to drink in the morning, but this will give us a really nice iced coffee concentrate. You can even mix it with some hot water if you want, um, hot coffee concentrate. But this is all I'm going to do is pour it, filter it, strain it, ditch the grounds, and we'll see you in the morning.